the World Health Organization's 72nd World Health Assembly meeting, which kicked off in Geneva, Switzerland today. Speaking during the opening ceremony attended by hundreds of world leaders, among them First Lady Margaret Kenyatta and Health Cabinet Secretary Cecily Karioki, who directed General Tedros Adhamon Ghebreyesus, cited Kenya as a leading crusader of UHC. The world has made great progress towards universal health coverage. Last year, I mentioned Kenya's ambitious plans to implement a new UHC scheme with support from WHO. In December, I had the honor of being with President Kenyatta for the launch of that program in Kisumu. The WHO Director General said UHC has already started producing results in Kenya and gave the example of Immaculate Tene, a 33-year-old unemployed mother of four whose health burden has been lifted through access to free health care services. Today's event is the result of close collaboration with the city and canton of Geneva, the Confederation of Switzerland, the governments of the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Kenya, India, the United States, and the European Union, and many others. Of course, Kenya in big force. <laughs> Kenya is currently implementing the pilot phase of UHC in the four counties of Kisumu, Nyeri, Isiolo, and Machakos. The WHO Director General encouraged other countries to emulate Kenya's commitment and scale up the provision of health care to their citizens by implementing UHC. Dr. Tedros urged WHO member states to promote access to quality primary health care, saying strong primary health care is the frontline defense to re-emerging diseases like cholera, polio, and Ebola. We have all come together with one goal, to demonstrate that we cannot take health for granted. We have come together with a common cry, health for all. During the meeting, participants were urged to endorse actions that will ensure no one is left behind in the quest to provide quality health care through UHC.